All right, Frankie is now two, so we're gonna share five Aussie Doodle puppy tips that really helped us or wish we would have known to really help you if you've got an Aussie Doodle puppy. So we have five tips, jump right into it. The first one is um, being calm, confident with your puppy. So mm -hmm. it, it's important to not, you're so excited, you wanna show so much love to your dog that you get them amped up all the time. And it's hard to, hard to do, so you wanna be mm -hmm. calm, confident you don't want to match the puppy's energy Sorry. right yeah because the puppy's all crazy you just want to be calm confident in the beginning and they're going to be this big and you want to treat them that they're like they're full grown even though they're small you want to treat them like they're full grown because they're going to be full grown in, in no time so, so fast, yeah. if you're letting them jump all over you and, and you're just you're amping them up you can do that but set the tone of calm confident early and praise her when she's relaxed you can see how relaxed she is She's not a crazy. And she's generally like this when it's us. Like there are certain people that she gets very excited for, um, but generally she's very well mannered. I would say. Yes, and it's generally just very well mannered because we try to be calm with her, um, because then when something exciting happens, she's not already at that top level. So if a bunny runs by, it's like, oh, what's that? Instead of I'm already crazy and I just do crazy stuff, and now I'm even you can't stop them. They see a bunny, they're gone type of thing. So just remember that that puppy be calm, confident. Number two, Tori, I'll let you take this one is um, exercise, just exercising your puppy. Oh yeah, it's that's something that we started with right away and um, really focused on because she did have, she does still have so much energy. Um, so she's 25% approximately um, Australian Shepherd and then 75% Poodle. So those are both very high energy, like working dogs that need exercise. And that's just very simply put, like they need a lot of exercise and people underestimate that. And then they get them and they're like, this dog is crazy. Well, it's because they need, I don't know, multiple, well, when they're really little, yeah, when they're really it's little. easier to wear them out because they do just wear out quicker and then they nap. So it's more frequent, I would say like, a, a few 10 minute plays throughout the day where now she goes on either a walk or a run and then plays here and there um, and she's good. Yeah, yeah, when they're a puppy, you can just be with them, just kind of be with them, be outside with them, like let them come with you. Like that's enough right there to get them outside and exercising and then as they get older, you'll see they get bigger. Yeah, they, they don't want to just be let out in the backyard. You want to walk with them, throw yeah. throw the fetch with them. Be intentional play and intentional exercise. Yeah, exactly. Don't just let them out in the backyard. That's not um, exercise. No, and it, and it builds the bond and yeah. they're getting built and they like, they, they love that. So exercise with them, yeah. it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work in the mm -hmm. beginning, but it really pays off. Mm -hmm. um, so exercise is number two. Number yeah. three um, is the socialized part. So mm -hmm. socializing your dog is so important because I don't know when it is, but you'll reach a point where it's like, you can't socialize them anymore. It's mm -hmm. too late. It's very difficult to get them around other dogs, other people, other animals, kids. And I do feel, sorry to cut you yeah. again, but at two, she's like about two, she was two in February. So she is now like, I feel like to the point where we can't really teach her a lot of new things like in that way, like little tricks that, yeah, that's fine. But as far as like building her core, like, what would you say? Yeah, her core training stuff. Yeah, is, I feel like she's pretty set in her like routines at this point. Yeah, so it, you have to, when they're a puppy, take them as many places you can, just take them with you. Even it, even when they get eight months, nine months, a year old, just mm -hmm. have them around other dogs. And again, that's that energy. You can't be nervous. You can't be like, oh, I don't know. I, I haven't been by a, a German Shepherd ever before. You gotta just, um, yeah really be calm confident know the area know who you're with know the other dog owner and just know like be responsible yeah the odds of this german shepherd that's a good german shepherd attacking my dog are pretty low like you you have to just get your dog in front of other dogs take them to the dog park mm -hmm. as much as you can because then it, it's great it's easy okay. but if you're if you go too long you can't get now they don't want to be around other people they're dog aggressive people mm -hmm. make them all weird anxious and, oh. yeah it's they're not a calm confident dog um when you try to do things that are out of their comfort zone once they're already like an adult and she's <laughs> so <laughs> shape. Yep, that's um, number Hold on, but yeah, I was gonna add too that was my favorite thing I think about um, having a dog is social socialization because 
Um, when researching this breed, they're very clingy. Like they want to be by you and around you at all times. Even if one of us is gone, um, like Emery's at school, or if I'm gone, or if Chris is gone, he is her favorite person, so she's not as stressed when we're gone. If you're home, she's good. Yeah. But she wants to be around us all the time. So we have taken her everywhere we possibly can since we got her at eight weeks old. And so um, that was one of my favorite things. Like and that's what we wanted our life to be like with her. And so that's what we started right away. So. Yep. And that's my next and point. She's is, a good dog for that. Is separation anxiety. They don't. They don't want to be away from you for too long. So. Yeah. Anything you can do to, to keep some people around, they just don't want to be in a kennel for too long. And that's what we did. Like you said, we just, we took her places and it was a, uh, she's a COVID dog. So yeah. we were home a lot. <laughs> yeah, we were home a lot and uh, it just really worked out. But yeah, that's why I think I'm, I'm her favorite person because I, I was, I didn't know what I was doing, but one thing I, that worked out really well is like, I didn't necessarily want the dog. Like I wasn't like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we have this dog. I was more like down to Steady. business like i treated her calm confident like respectful but i just i didn't overly praise her in things and so now she just really has this like respect for me it's weird you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah i know i you like, know like hate to love it i know yeah, it's like, just i brought you into this house yeah she's like <laughs> she oh likes my gosh. you better but so anyway it, that really worked she out she loves us all though yeah we she just likes you a little bit more just well. it's yeah it's, it's kind of interesting but um and that was number four, separation anxiety. Mm -hmm. Try to be home as much as you can or try to be with, with your dog. Mm -hmm. I, I get it if you have to work, but whatever. And then the last one is um, uh, redirect and praise. So when they're doing stuff wrong, you wanna talk about this one, like redirect and praise? Um, yeah, so that is what, at the end of the day, that's just what you have to keep in the back of your mind with having a puppy. I feel like this is the same thing with kids. Redirect them when they're being crazy or naughty or doing something bad. Um, and then praise them all the time when they're doing something good because then they're just gonna naturally do those things more um, Well in the redirect we just ma we made a video look for it. We can link it in the description, mm -hmm. but a Redirect tool is an e-collar. It's a loud beep. I can grab it. You can see how it works We'll link this in the description, but our videos out there It's a loud beep and actually so Frankie just heard that she beep, <laughs> and here she comes. Come this is a great redirect tool. She's doing something that she's about to do something that she shouldn't. Um, we, we teach you how to use this e-collar, so that's that's another video. But that's what we're talking about. You redirect them. Then when they're doing things you want them to do, when they're calm, when they're just chilling, that's when you want to just like love it. Like this treats. Is, she's very treat driven, so yep. we have treats on hand all the time. Even still, um, we do treat and praise her a lot when she's doing something good. Yeah, and it depends on what kind of dog you want, right? We we yeah. want to get a, a, a relaxed, kind of comfortable dog. Like, yeah. maybe if, you know, it's just not a Belgian Malinois, if you want that and you want a dog that's gonna, like, you wouldn't do this, but we're just like, hey, just calm as much as we can because there's plenty of excitement. We have kids, we have visitors, we have other dogs. Like, it's not like we're just like boring, calm people. You know what I mean? Yeah, but generally when nothing is going on, we just want her to be behaved well. Um, yeah, because that's when the behavior problems start. When you're amped up, you're just you're amped, and you're yeah. just like, oh, food! I want to eat food. I want to, mm -hmm. I want to dig. I want to do all this stuff. So that's why we. I will say she has been just a really good, um, like she's been easy to train. They're very smart, um, so mm -hmm. they need training too. So even if you're just doing a quick ten minute like sit, stay, lay down, whatever kind of like training like that is super important. It's good for their brain. We have a lot of puzzles too. Um, this wasn't on the list, but I thought, thought of mm -hmm. two more things. So um, they do need the mental stimulation. So a 10 minute, like I said, training, the puzzles are very good. You can just wrap, you can, I've seen this, like you, you roll or lay a towel down, put some treats, roll it, put some more treats, like anything simple like that, like they really need um, for their brain to get moving. And then also, did you want to talk about um, crate training? Cause that's a lot of puppy training too. Yeah, yeah, but let me just talk on that real quick. Okay. The mental stimulation and the physical is is huge. I mean, you mm. got to get that out of them when they're a puppy. Um, just to, and you don't have to be crazy about it, but if you just expect them to be like, "Hey, be good," and it's just like it's not going to happen. You have to uh, get their brains working, tire them out a little bit, and then you're able to do like we said earlier, the exercise part. It's to tire them out, so they're just they're not going to be crazy, and then you can't train them in any 
-hmm. anyway so you're more focused yeah yep. and the training is different for physical and mental um that's not the same thing so just keep yeah that in mind too. and then the crate training we did crate training early on um highly recommend because they're so small uh they you know sometimes they can't for safety yeah for their safety for you just don't know what they're wandering around at, at night and yeah. the, you know they don't sleep all the so what we did was we put her in her crate and shut the door and just went away and just didn't stay away for like very long and then would come back like we're here we're not gonna like leave you and then that that time spent away from her we just went longer and longer and it seemed to really help and she really liked it um is that what you remember from crate training like um yeah just overnight crate training is what we did because yeah, we didn't want her to poop and pee all over the house um but we could still like we could hear like in the middle of the night so you're still gonna have to get up in the middle of the night and let them out like they can't hold their bladder overnight when they're that little um but it is just for their safety and for your sanity with them pooping like they're gonna poop in their crate but it's better to just clean a crate than your <clears throat> whole house yep yeah so really have the confidence to like put them in there and go mm -hmm. and it's almost it's a little bit for us it was like a kid you know you just got to put them in and, and go and then come back and like you said you, you can hear them but if they're in your same room or they can see you it's just it's gonna be Probably very difficult work, yeah. yeah so just um, we could do another video on the crate training if you'd like let okay. us know in the comments yeah. the crate training is a whole probably a whole another video but mm -hmm. um, but it's something that we did do but for do a it. year yep but definitely do it so yeah. Uh, anything else? Um, no, I think that's it. Okay, so we'll we'll link the um, this in the description. But yeah, Frankie's great. And it's been, but we did a lot of things. We didn't really know what we were doing, but we just it worked out. So yeah. So let us know if you have any questions or comments. Leave them below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let us know what you want us to film next with Frankie. Um, and have a great day. Bye.